seeing some extreme heat this summer. It has cooled down just a bit and then we're seeing some rain and flooding and even a surprise tropical system. A lot to unpack, but our meteorologist Corey Smith is breaking it down and telling us what our summer means for our fall. Going into the summer, we had seen a very active severe season in the Palmetto State. Mother Nature decided to go full speed into the next season. June saw one of the hottest starts ever to a summer featuring extreme heat. In total, we saw five 100 degree days with June 16th reaching 103 degrees. Our coldest day of the season came just a few days later with temperatures chilly in the morning starting in the 50s. Past the month of June though, temperatures were slightly cooler resulting in just an above average season here in the Midlands. Rain caused a lot of issues including flash flooding that affected Columbia and the surrounding areas. The tropics have been extremely quiet, but we saw the only land-falling tropical system so far this year. On July 2nd, Tropical Storm Colin moved across the area. Keeping most of the bad weather off the shore, the system moved up the Carolina coast. Let's talk now about what we can expect going forward. Fall is a season of change. While on average high temperatures don't change too much in September, we really start to cool off in the months of October and November. As for how much cooling we actually see, the Climate Prediction Center is predicting an overall warmer fall ahead. From the studio, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. All right, thank you, Corey. And meteorological fall officially begins on Thursday. How about that? Temperatures look to be on the warmer side for now with no significant cool downs on the way quite yet. So we're going to call it fall. It's going to feel like summer.